Just as women's sports are hitting an all-time high, gymnasts are coming together this weekend to compete at one of the last big competitions before the Olympic team trials. Olympic gold medalist Ali Raisman has made a, a name for herself as one of the hardest working gymnasts in the world. Now she is taking all that experience and perseverance into ESPN's commentator booth this weekend, assessing other world-renowned athletes. And Ali joins us right now. So good of you to take the time. We do appreciate it. The NCAA Women's Finals this weekend is one of the last big competitions before the team, the Olympic team, trials in June, where Team USA will be chosen ahead of the Paris Olympics. What are you looking for out there on the floor this weekend? Thank you so much for having me. So this um, competition this weekend is for collegiate gymnastics, and it's actually totally separate than the Olympic selection. There are actually several gymnasts that either are Olympians trying for the U.S. Olympic team or are already qualified to compete for other countries in the competition, but this competition doesn't um, tell us anything about who's going to make that Olympic team. It's not a qualifier for the Olympics, but of course for the athletes that are trying to make that Olympic team for the U.S., it's another place for them to gain confidence. So let's talk a little bit about that. Oklahoma was denied a three-peat at the NCAA title with Utah and Florida clinching the final two spots. This weekend, along with LSU and UC Berkeley, Haley Bryant from LSU was just crowned the 2024 all-around champion. Do you think uh, she can help LSU to its first ever national title? Haley Bryan is unbelievable. I'm so thrilled for her that she won the all around and it's always such a joy to be able to watch her. She's even more amazing in person. I think that Haley is definitely going to have a huge impact on the LSU team. They look ready. They look confident. But what's really interesting is I think that tomorrow during the competition, there's four teams and all four of them have a shot at winning the title. So I'm so curious to see how it's going to turn out. It's going to be really exciting. And I think it's going to come down to which team can take it one moment at a time and not make the competition too big. Last year's NCAA women's gymnastics viewership was a record setter and we all just uh, saw the same with women's NCAA basketball beating the men's. Um, women's sports is having quite a moment right now, is it not? It's really exciting and it's about time. It was so fun to be able to watch women's basketball and I am just Hard to put into words how exciting it is and how much, um, how happy I am and just honored to be able to be just a small part of this um, women's gymnastics in college. It's really exciting. It's an amazing time and just excited for the momentum to keep building and hopefully this is just the beginning for women's sports. I'm curious after hearing all the commentary during your own performances if you know you're obviously not while you're doing it but when you go back and look at it um, how, how is your experience you think is this decorated gymnast this world-class gymnast help you prepare for this particular moment uh, you know I would I, will you be harder on people because you've been there or more understanding I hope that I'm more understanding. Last night in the competition when Oklahoma and Alabama were, were struggling a lot, there was a lot of falls. I tried to show people more of the human side of it because I think sometimes gymnastics looks so easy and people forget how difficult it is and how much pressure all these gymnasts are under. The beam is only four inches wide. So it's a lot of pressure. There's really no room for the margin for error is so small. So I try to remind people that these athletes are human and sometimes no matter how much you prepare, you just have an off day. So I hope that people think I go easier on them because I, I know how it feels and I also just feel it's, it's heartbreaking to watch people make mistakes because I know how much they care and how hard they work to get here. Yeah, well, you just said some people think gymnastics look, looks easy, maybe for someone like you, but I can tell you nothing you have ever done out there has ever looked anything but very difficult to me. So, Ali, thank you so much for taking the time. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you can watch the 2024 Women's National Collegiate Gymnastics Championship tomorrow on ABC and ESPN at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard.